in the last lecture we created a places collection and in that places collection we stored some location specific data so here if we go ahead and if we query the places collection using the find method it is going to return us these five documents which we inserted in the last lecture each document has a name a name for the place each document has a category what that place is and it also has this location which is storing what type of location data we are storing and the coordinates of that location so here we are storing a single point location and these are the coordinates of that single point location first we have the longitude and then we have the latitude so in geojson first we specify the longitude and then the latitude now remember that latitude describes a horizontal axis on the earth globe and longitude describes the vertical axis on the earth globe also if i go to the map which we created in our last lecture we have also marked all the places which we have in our places collection so now what i am going to do is i am going to mark one more point here so for that we can click on this add marker let me add that marker here and let's say this is my current location okay let's click on this save button and let's copy this longitude and latitude i mean latitude and longitude so let's say this is my current location okay let me go ahead and let me store it in a variable and here let's specify the longitude first and then the latitude so now let's say from this point i want to find all the nearest places from our places collection in the places collection we have stored these five locations so from this location which of these locations are near that we want to find let's see how we can do that so for that i'm going to write a query here itself so what we want is we want to find all the places from the places collection so on the places collection we are going to use this find method how do we want to filter the places based on the location field so let's specify the field name and first we need to specify this document and inside that we need to specify the field name which in this case is location it is location and not locations and to this we are going to assign a document in this document we are going to use an operator called dollar near and this near operator is going to give us all the nearest places to a given point from the places collection to this dollar near operator we need to assign another document another object in which we need to specify the details of the location from where we want to find all the nearby places so to specify the details we need to use dollar geometry operator using this geometry operator we specify the details of the location like the type of the location and the coordinates of the location so here we need to specify the details of this location from where we want to find all the nearest places from within the places collection so we have already saved its coordinates in this array here so this geometry here also we need to specify the type here the type is going to be point okay and then we need to specify the coordinates of that point that location for that we can use this coordinates this property and to this let's go ahead and let's assign this array where we have copied the longitude and latitude of that location okay so now what this near operator will do is it will search for all the places it will look into the location field of all the places documents and there it will see which of the places is near to this particular location to this particular coordinate okay currently if i copy this if we paste it here and if i run this command we will get an error and the error says unable to find index for geo near query here we are using this dollar near operator and behind the scenes the name of this operator is geo near so basically it says that it needs an index on this location field in order to 
use this dollar near operator now which index does it need so this location field in our collection is storing the coordinates of a location and since we want to work with the coordinates of a given location on that location field we need to have a geospatial index then only we can work with geospatial data we can use geospatial operators so to use geospatial operators on the field we need to have geospatial index and to create the geospatial index let me first clear the console here let's go ahead and let's create a geospatial index on the places collection so let's call create index method to this let's pass a document and here we want to create an index on the location field and here we are not going to specify one or minus one because here our intention is to create a geospatial index not a normal index and to create a geospatial index we specify a string value to the field which is 2d sphere when we set the field as 2d sphere here we are telling that on this location field we want to create a geospatial index and once we create the geospatial index on a field on that field we can use any geospatial operator also remember that this geospatial index is not required for all the geospatial operators but all other geo operators also will benefit from this index all right let me go ahead and let me create this index so the index is created and it is called as location underscore 2d sphere let me clear the shell now let's again copy this command let's paste it here and now when i run this command now you will see that it is returning us all the five documents now why it is returning us all the five documents because here we have not specified any distance which we will consider as near so for example here i can also go ahead after this geometry operator i can use another operator called max distance and here i can set what will be the maximum distance which will be considered as nearby if i say 10 kilometer and here we need to specify the distance in meters so 10 kilometer will be 10000 meters so in this case this near operator will search for all the places in the places collection which comes within one kilometer radius of that given point okay but here instead of one kilometer i'm going to say 300 meters so this is the maximum distance if you want you can also specify the min distance but here i'm not going to use min distance we'll only keep max distance let me copy this command let me clear the shell here let's paste the command and now this command should return us all the nearby places from the places collection for this coordinate which is within 300 meter radius okay if i press enter you will see it has returned us two documents so these two documents are within the 300 meter range of this location so if i go to map here we have orion mall and iskon temple so this is iskon temple i guess and this is orion mall so these two places are within 300 meter range of this point so that's why those two points have been returned okay all right so this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture let me go ahead and let me delete this point in this lecture we learned how to find all the nearby places for a given location if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day